bitch. Sing it with me. Patrick is back in this bitch. Patrick got my man Ballard back. Back in the streets again. Patrick is back in this bitch. Patrick, you need to get Ballard to make you a song called Patrick is back in this bitch. I'll do the chorus. You know that's hot. That shit certified fly. Patrick is back in this bitch. Valid says, God bless America. Let's Y'all saw I had to I had to sub his channel. That was valid. That's V-A-L-E-D. Valid the ruler. Valid gets a 8.2. It reminds me of that track that you hear on the, on the album that you just keep playing back and you just keep playing back and back. And I know a lot of people wanted to give it a nine and all that, but there's, 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 there's more involved in once you get into the nine, there's more involved with that. Once you get into the nines and, and people who will probably understand it, who's been listening to the show for a long time, you guys know what's involved in once you get to a nine. Once you get to a nine, anything between like a nine and a 10, like it's just already there. I want to make when you give somebody a 10, it means something. I want to make when you give somebody a nine, it means something. I want to make when you give somebody an eight, it means something. So that's an 8.2. And of course it's certified fly, but I don't even want to put that beat behind. I don't even want to put that behind it. Because that was that good. I could listen to that over and over again, especially when he hit me with one verse. I'm in a I'm in a unique space right now, right? Because like during the co during the quarantine, like my biggest takeaway is to take action. They close the shop down, all right, I'm gonna sell these products. You know what I mean? I probably wouldn't have never came out with music if it wasn't for the quarantine. And I probably wouldn't even loaded up any freestyles on my gram if it wasn't for quarantine. Like, music kind of became something I did as a hobby. Like, my lit years of making music and like really going hard with music are in the not to say like I won't be lit again, but like I make the kind of music that I like now. Like I don't try to, you know, I don't try to punch below my weight class. I don't try to make like what, what I don't try to make the bullshit. You know what I mean? Only make what I like. And. For the most part, people rocking with it. You know, the people that rock with me are rocking with it. I was just talking to my lady about like, you know, who I really got around me. And I, I think about that a lot. I think about the people that I keep in my circle. And I gotta salute, I gotta salute, send a strong salute to my man Tut, AKA Pat, because this man, this man dropped his own money. He did this on his own. I didn't. I didn't ask him for this, and it really meant a lot to me. He dropped his own money and paid for my songs to be played on a live live stream where they where they rate your music, and he sent me the link. So I'm checking it out. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I don't know Tony Tommy Sotomayor. You know what I'm saying? He don't know me, and. He really rocking with my music. The people in the in the live chat really rocking with it. I mean, nonstop fire emojis. You know, there were some people with some comments that probably ain't their style, and that's fine. You know what I mean? But when you got when you got friends that go that hard for you and what you're trying to do, that shit really means something. It really means like, yo, what I've been doing like is really like making an impact. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers is really fucking with this music that I've been working on. And mind you, like, most of my life, I've been in Buffalo outside of living in Decatur with my pops and traveling. I've been living in Buffalo. So the same circle of people who've been hearing my music, same followers, same friends on social media, and they scroll past it. I mean, I got my rapper friends that fuck with me. Of course, you know, real gonna recognize real in the rapping. But as far as the fans, 
Only a select few real ones been really rocking with me. But my man Tup been rocking with me, man, since probably like 08, 09. Like when I used to do my blogs in the studio, like he used to be the one holding the camera. Not a phone, a camera. You know what I mean? Interviewing me in my Cadillac and shit like that. Like we come a long way. You know what I mean? And even though at, t at times we've, you know, grown apart in different ways, still remain friends. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta salute him for that. I'm gonna include the footage of what we was doing in the live, what they was doing. In, I'm gonna, I'm gonna include the footage of what they was doing in the live chat, so you can see for yourself. It's pretty cool, and it really got me thinking. Like, yo, I need to keep making this shit that I like. Only they was on me too. They was talking about I need to make songs about bitches, but I got songs about bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like. Making songs about bitches and fucking niggas bitches and shit like that. This shit became redundant. And it was getting me in mad beefs. Like, all my diss songs, all my rap beefs besides one probably was all over bitches and shit. You know what I mean? So, we ain't gonna rehash those old wounds. But, man, I just appreciate, appreciate motherfuckers fucking with my shit. And as an artist, I know... Anybody that's rapping, that's watching this, you love when people fuck with your shit. But yo, you know, I try not to get too high off the love and low off the hate, you know what I mean? It's just, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep making music, going to the studio with my man Young Swing, whom I've also been friends with since like, 08 or 09 or something like that. And we gonna keep rocking out, you know what I mean? That's it, I really had nothing to say. I'm gonna include the footage and Hopefully I hopefully I said everything that I wanted to say on this video because every time I every time I make a video and put it up, I'll be like, damn, I forgot to say this. I forgot to shout out this person. So fuck it. It is what it is. Yeah, so fuck what it was. I don't need your fake love, handshakes and hugs. Niggas split when I quit getting bit. Then I rose from the ash, no scratch, no dent. I'm alone in this four-cornered room. Dormant like a corpse in a tomb from these thoughts I consume. I love the beat, I love the vibe, I love the old school New York hallways, I, I love the way you ended the song, I, I, I love, it. it's better than Nas, uh, can we say it, it's better than Nas, um, the only reason I didn't give you an 8 valid is because That jogging suit was a smedium. That jogging suit was on you, nigga. That's the only reason why I couldn't give you an eight like I gave a white boy an eight. That jogging suit was on you, nigga. That jogging suit was fitting you close. That, jo that jogging suit was pulling a, a lot of Richie just to get close to you, girl. Ow. Then that jogging suit, that jogging suit would let you go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Damn. That jogging suit was fitting. <laughs> Bella said, he said his girlfriend gave it to him. You know Ooh, boy. It seemed like it was hard for you to do that video with that, that, that thing on. It looked like you fuck around and got a symbiote on you. And he <laughs> got a symbiote on him. Is that a jogging suit? Hell no, that is a symbiote. It's a good song, very good song. It's a very good song. That um, it's, it said he thought it was a one C. <laughs> it said it was a nano suit. It got on a nano suit. <laughs> 